I did all that with my mic off, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. God damn it. I, uh, I don't know how, how or why I should be trusted with this. Because I did all that with my mic off. At least you didn't see the embarrassment of me realizing I had to... Yeah, well, I'm not going to say that because... Ay, 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 ay. I'm just a bit of an idiot. Now I do not want G-Force use, being used. So you should be able to see now. So I'm very, I'm very sorry. I'm, uh, I'm quite tired, and this heat is not, is not helping me. Thank you. Skip this. Well, it crashed on me, but it seems to still be going on the stream. So I have absolutely no idea why it does this, because it's completely crashed for me. Charles there we go. The All right. <laughs> Apologies for the hiccup of me completely forgetting to unmute my mic. But this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a story-driven open-world RPG that immerses you in an epic adventure in the Holy Roman Empire. Now, I'm a complete history nerd, but I've never really gotten into the Holy Roman Empire section. I've always been before then. I've always been more into the ancient history and so forth. So this is going to be really, really interesting to me. One thing I will note is that in settings it has this thing called Eye Tracker, which I don't know how to do, but I'm genuinely curious as to what it is, because I've heard absolutely nothing about this. But the game itself, all I know is that it is the... is, is that it is an open world RPG, which I kept misreading as open world RTS, and I was very confused as to how the fuck that would work. But then again, I am an idiot, so... oh well. But this is FTA. FTA is a first impression series where I play games that I've never played before for an hour. Tell you if they're fun, tell you if they're absolutely horrific, tell you if they're just merely adequate. And then I'll give you my opinion at the end, as well as some first impressions and things I think the game could have done better to hook players in. So I'm going to have fun with this because, I don't know, I heard about this, I think it was a couple of months ago, and I've been hearing more and more about it. And there are some people coming out saying, I really, really want to play this. And people that I trust, like people that don't usually get sucked into the hype around games. So I'm going, okay, maybe there's something to this. And then I found out that it's got to do with the Holy Roman Empire. And I'm just like, in. In. Fuck it. I want this. This is going to be a lot of fun for me. Because, as I said, I'm a history buff. What I want to know is what period. Because the Holy Roman Empire spanned a really large period of time. I'm genuinely curious as to what this is. But we are just going to jump in. It's hour of gameplay. We'll start right now. We're going to go for new game. Really hope these guys did a good job with this. I've never seen a game actually attempt to show the Holy Roman Empire that isn't like a paradox level strategy game. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire which had flourished on the I stopped. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. You really don't let me read that, do you? This looks fucking gorgeous. Damn! Well, that looks beautiful! Alright, I'm hyped! <laughs> I'm fucking hyped! have really good looking character models. I'm loving this so far because this is just beautiful like scenery porn. 
I'm always happy with scenery porn. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. husband how goes it good i should get it finished today where's sean be i need him to run some errands he was still sleeping when i went out sounds like sean bean huh? blue-blooded idler well it looks like he was out all evening drinking like a lord <laughs> to be fair lords in this era of <laughs> Quick clout round what the, the fuck issue, am I thinking of? Lords in this era would probably, uh... Well, there was something I remember reading about how water was just for peasants, so the lords would always, like, purely drink wine and such like. I wonder if that was real. That would be kind of entertaining if Henry, it was. Get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up. Look Hear that? Totally using that. Do not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been? Oh, Henry! How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. Well, they will hear of it if you yell any louder. How he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm, well. Oh, I just looked up the voice cast. I don't think that was Sean Bean, but I did learn Brian Blessed is in this game. Oh, I'm very excited to see where the hell they put him. Brian Blessed is an English actor known for being... loud, shall we say. Very, very loud and speaking in somewhat of a bellow at times. Like, have you ever seen him on panel shows? He really likes a fine state constantly you're in yelling. This morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? You just said I was drinking like a lord. We were chatting in the tavern. I was dancing. I was with. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with, don't worry. All four characteristics can be further developed with it. We were chatting in the tavern. So let's go with speech, because I do want to know if the game has the ability to talk our way out of civ not civilization, situations. Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? Uh, Matthias was teaching me archery. That's probably the best one and probably the most believable. I wonder who Bianca is, really. No. It's just... Matthias was... Teaching me archery. Oh, that's a believable archery? lie. Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Let's be happy. To Let's try and on. get on a good side ah, again. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Multiple kinds of storms. Can I get something to eat? 
I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Excellent. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Um... Yeah, fuck uh, it. Leave it be. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the fort on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. End dialogue, then. Oh, you're not going to do the uh, lovely Commander Shipper thing of, I have to go, and then just bolt. I'm going to just eat this cheese. Is there anything else around here I can nick? Eat from the pot. Oh, wait. Drop into pot. I'm going to drop this cheese into the pot. Or I would if... I guess I can't. Just eat from the pot. Fuck it, now I'm really hungry, actually. Right. So, so far, like... Okay, movement is good. The fact that I can actually see myself when I look down is interesting. That's actually somewhat rare in games. Oh, we're not just gonna telepathically open the door with our mind, like we have in every other game in their dog? That's sweet. Can I just, like, close it? I can! Alright, 10 out of 10 for let me do that. Oh, look, another pot. What else is around here? That's Mum. Where's Da? That's over here. You know, we seem to have a very large house and yard. We must be doing pretty damn well for ourselves. Come here, I need your help. Certainly, Father. At least you're up. That's a start. I swear anyway, it sounds like Sean Bean. Lots of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. You'll try, Father. Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Excellent. So now we've got a list of things to do. Most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Eloquence will help you with friends. An inconspicuous person can totally enjoy trouble. If you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can also be this, a solution. All right, that's really useful. So I'm going to try and talk my way out of all situations because that's honestly more interesting to me and I like to do roleplay stuff. Good morning, guards. Can I uh, get past? I cannot. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the crossguard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. <laughs> if we don't become a lord at some point during this game, I'm going to be mighty pissed. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Nice, we got the cross guard. One thing I really am looking forward to is the rest of the game because 
you're having us like be like, proper medieval, proper historic access accuracy, stuff like that. I want to know if we can become like a lord or at least own land and build on the land. Cause that'd be great. Cause I love games that do that, let you go out into the world and do a whole bunch of stuff and then come to like a homestead or a landing and improve it in some way. I've always adored games that let me do that. All right, charcoal burner. Now, if banished and uh, what the hell is it called? The other thing. Kingdoms and castles has taught me anything. Charcoal well, burners are near a giant fire pit. So all I got to do is look for a giant fire pit. And they're typically on the outskirts of town because nobody likes to smoke. You discovered charcoal burner. Well, that was fast. I'm guessing you are the charcoal burner, judging by the amount of wood around here. Open this door. Oh. Do -do -do -do. I'm not going to go in there. Wait a minute, this is a charcoal burner, so you are the charcoal burner. Oh, wait, I don't have the money. My bad, I don't have the money. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Oh. Yes, father. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make. You can simply use speech, which is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to, which is probably fucking bugger all. In Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you, and they will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment, but other things are also taken into account, such as bloodstains on your clothes, and you can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on persuasive stun, bribing people works the same way as shopping, sea trading, and haggling. In special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills, for example, horsemanship. It's not only the character, it's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because sometimes it's not enough to just choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. And this is to do with the haggling part. Right? Debts must be paid. Fuck it, I'm just gonna. Try and talk to him? Yeah, let's try and talk to him. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father oh dear. teach you any manners? <laughs> I didn't oh, think that'd work. Well, I'll teach you then. A slash, strong, stab, kick. Alright. Alright, I'm not doing well. You call that combat? No, I call this combat. Yeah, that's probably a bad thing. What are the rest of those controls? <laughs> Movement, combat, abort attack, block, Q. Gone weak at the knees, have you? I'm over here. All right, note to self, don't let him get close. Bollocks! Bollocks to you! Alright, let's get let my stamina get back up again. Oh dear. You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. Try to get the axe. 
I can probably just go up and nick it. Do I need to go back to Mum? I will wash myself. Oh look! You left. I'm gonna just... Take this. <laughs> I love that. Alright. Now we've also got to look for the hammer. Where's the hammer? There's really nothing in here. Damn! You've no business. Hey! I would if you'd leave. Thank you. Put the self. They're like a crouch button. I should probably find that out first. First, let's go to Mum. Maybe we'll go to Dad and just sick Dad on them. That'll probably be better. We'll get a sword and beat the crap out of him. That'd be nice. I've got the ha the axe at least. Hello. Uh, I get some help here. Ma? Ah, Ma! I, I'm hurt. Won't stop bleeding. Oh, now stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. And here I thought you'd actually tell your mother, Hey, um, I got beaten up. What the hell should I do? Should I go to the bailiff or should I go to Da? Alright, fuck it. Through the geometry. Hi there. Uh, he's not gonna give you the stuff. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? When I asked Kunish to pay, he fought me instead. That bastard. You don't look too bad, though. Did you get the better of him? I'm fine, but he didn't give me the money. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. But without Kunish's money, I can't buy those other things you wanted. Here's coin for the charcoal and the ale. I'll get it back from that mongrel this evening. That's useful. I was kind of hoping, you know, Dad'd go sort him out. <laughs> the epitome of I'm gonna call me father on you. Alright, so we need to go to where was it? Oh we gotta get ale. Which we'll do last to make sure it's cool. Ale's probably you, you're the charcoal burner's helper. Henry. Hey Pip! Combat master, something? gambler. No. What were we actually supposed to do? Okay, so let's buy ale at the tavern. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market, so... That was the A. I thought the A stood for ale. Charcoal burner's helper. I've got a new perk available. I wonder how I do that. Good health to you. The master's a prick. Charcoal. And we need ten of them. Oh, uh, how do we cycle? Okay, there we go. Close the deal. Excellent. Now then, I'm guessing B is ale. No, I guess E was ale. Can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts? 
traitors. Now, what the hell is going on around here? I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do yeah, wasn't there like a war with like three or four different popes all claiming to be the right is one? The king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas commander in chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped it like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too old, uh, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlor manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. Oh. You think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Count well, me out. I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? No, I'm but out. I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Yeah, so, no. How? Are you with us? No. Also, why is he calling me Hal? My name is Henry, I believe. It does take a while to load for conversations, though. That's very strange. Oh, damn, I'm actually dropping frames pretty badly. I wonder what the heck is going on. Only 3.1%, but still. This is very strange. It does have kind of long loading times, which is very strange. I wouldn't think a game would have them in this day and age. Maybe it's loading the whole world. If it's loading the whole world, we're going to have problems. No way. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsche lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Because you sound drunk as is. So that's lockpicking, so this is the tavern. I need to go buy ale. Like, what was the other thing I needed to do? Go to the sword fighting lesson. Right, nope, we'll uh, go with ale first. Hello. Be a bit more careful. I'm trying to say hello to you. Ay, 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 ay. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> You too, handsome. What brings you here? Just ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? How big is a pitcher, I want? Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Okay. Here you are. There we go. Thank you. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But 
What in heaven's name are you up to with him? We could be a high woman. to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. At least the movements in this game of their hands, their arms, their body, and so What's forth. They look a lot more natural than a lot of other games I've seen. Your favorite? Save your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. I'm assuming she, he means in a good Christian way. Well, sex out of wedlock is sin. And such like. I'm just looking around, like, judging by the houses and the homes and so forth, I'm trying to work out what time period we'd be in. Or is it just on the map or something and I just never noticed? Oh, damn. Oh, damn! This is a big-ass map! Holy hell. What was the other thing we could find? Uh, d d d I'm trying to, like, trying all the buttons. Oh, hey, there's a button. Player. Main level. Thanks, I'm going to increase our speech. Ooh, highborn, lowborn, trustworthy middleman. I kind of just want to increase my speech more, really. Oh, that's showing less, not finding points to it. Right? Aesthetic, manly, manly odor. Oh, so I can learn these. But because I leveled up in speech, I should be able to learn one of these. Or not. Oh, here it is. Look, there's a point here. I'm guessing that's what it means. We have one point. We can learn manly odor. When dirty, you'll have 50% more charisma when talking to women. Help oh, people will smell you a while off. Alright, so I'm guessing... Yeah, only learn these ones. So, aesthetic. Well, 30% longer without food. But as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% more. Oh, that's terrible. Night Rider. Stamina will generate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Slightly increases the sight distance of fast travel and the chances of evading by 10. You got been problems through the comfort of bed, so it's inverted. The worse the bed, the better you sleep, and vice versa. Those all sound fucking terrible. And honestly more of a hindrance later in the game. Oh well. Also, from memory, a pitcher is like a really big mug, right? I'd hate to have to carry a mug all the way up here without spilling a drop. Yeah, the loading times for going into conversations is really weirdly long for... About time. You know, current you year, I guess. I wanted. The loving the game. Uh... I, um... Actually, there's one thing I forgot. Just give me a moment. Get a move on. We have to finish the sword today. We've got everything. Can you just let me... I'm gonna actually have to go to that sword fighting lesson, aren't I? I can't just... No, I can't. I have to go to it. Aww. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want to go to a sword fighting lesson. I want to, you know, be the good person for father. Especially given that Steam description. <laughs> Makes me think none of our parents are going to be around much longer. Because this is the Middle Ages, and games such as this, and RPGs and such like, kind of go, well, hello there, here's your parents, and here's their graves now. Where is it? Just down here, I think. Oh, it was down here. That's... Oh, what was his name? Van... Van something or other. This dude. That's a gambler. That's... You don't have a name. You don't have a name. Combat Master Van Yek. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Yeah, you there, buddy. Looking like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Well, the game won't let me do anything until yes. I do, so yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Oh, 
some kind Fruit of one? The leaves are all gone yellow and eaten through. God have mercy. What will you do with it? I don't rightly know. Old Kolka told me to cut them down and burn them before the others catch whatever it is. I wonder shame. what this is. Fine trees like that. Aye, but better to save a few. Like Where is the sheepfold, I wonder? I'm just going to follow this guy. Also, one thing I do kind of hate, and this is what I'm, I genuinely hate in a lot of games, I'm faster than him. And I'm going to guarantee this, we're faster than every single person we have to follow in game. Because that seems to be very common in these kind of games, where you're like, here's a person, but you're 20% faster than them. All the time. Ooh, look at all the smoke rising. I hope those are just houses. Oh! Oh damn, there's a lot of smoke rising. Alright, now I'm slightly getting worried. So, can we get started? Yes. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. That's a bad decision. Okay. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. In combat, you're locked to an opponent. You can unlock by holding shift. So I can, like, run away. All right. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Wait a second. Isn't Only that my house just over there? Repeat. Never repeat yourself. All right. Good. Good. Go for an overhead swing. And the point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. And here I thought it was for cutting meats. Good. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon oh, as we you did kind of see that. Blow, follow it with another. Fine. Okay, so I can chain these strikes, but this is actually kind of hard. Start an attack as soon as the previous attack ends, so... Nice. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Right, that's great. Now let us finally go back to Father with probably a very warm pitcher of ale. Because we couldn't just go to him and say, Hi, I've got the ale, here you go. Hi, I've got the cross guard, here you go. We have to get all of them at once and finish everything. Which is slightly annoying, but oh well. I'm liking the game, I'm liking the setting. Combat controls feel a little wonky, but... Combat controls with anything involving the mouse in combat is always feeling a bit wonky to me. Unless it's shooting a gun. It's a little easier. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I still swear this is Sean Bean! I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn the vino. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Yeah, Latin. Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. 
Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. He didn't do you anything! Yes. I refuse. Look me in the eye, Henry. I refuse to do it, you shithead. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. I didn't do anything, though. I refuse to. It's right to let traitors speak ill of the king. Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rubbish, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, and not your fists. I do agree with that. People really should talk more. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. Oh god, don't make me do it. This is going to turn out the worst sword in history if you let me do it. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Please just make the character do it, not me. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. I'm expecting the moment this sword to be completed for us to have to use it to fend off raiders. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? I can think of a few reasons. Remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here. They're carving it out of wood? And we'll put it all together. Oh, you put wood on there and then you wrap that with leather and then you... Bit the pommel. I was just doing it with wood. Was this common? It's magnificent. Indeed, it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Sure. Henry, are you all right? I'm counting down five minutes, three minutes, just waiting for the raiders to come or something to go wrong. The trunk in the living room. I'm guessing the living room is probably this place. Where's the trunk? There it is. Trunk. Nails for Teresa. Within one minute, will cure light wounds or dispel hangover effects. That could be useful. 
I'm expecting an arrow to come out and pierce poor Teresa's heart any second, really. Because usually don't you have a lot of build-up in games like this. It's usually by about the 40-minute mark something's occurred and we're expected to deal with it. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Bring those nails Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Oh, it is wrapped up. I thought so. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. I'm guessing that's Sir Redzig. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Maybe watch for the peasantry? <laughs> like, you could have hit him. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. What good is a sword to a commoner allows you to defend your people from raiders, highwaymen, such like? You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. A lot of bowing and scraping, but you could probably lose your head if you didn't bow and scrape back it's then. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Safan. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. There doesn't appear to be any lag with the um the voices long either. Peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but actually, it looks like they're speaking, and I'm actually quite liking that. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? No. Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here. Beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. I'm guessing we have a need now. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh dear. I fucking called that! Oh 
It took 50 minutes for the arrows and flame and death to come. That's actually somewhat of somewhat tame by this. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sorette. If anything happens, we'll take care of it. He says that the fire arrow hits the forge. I just like that it's not letting us do it. Like, that it's not letting us be able to move about the place and stop to see place. things. Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on, Everybody come on! Time. Oh, Henry, thank God! Get inside, quick! We have to shut the Get gates! Get running, people, come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! And now I'm gonna actually have to do combat and I'm shit at this, so <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Damn. Would a sword actually that easily cut through chainmail like that, I wonder? Not gonna go for the full beheading. I thought it was a weird thing to hope for, but he was riding up. I figured, well, it's much more dramatic. Jesus. What's our name? Is our name Hal or Henry? Run! I re I'm sorry, I really don't like that this is just one large cutscene. I think it would be far more dramatic if you actually let us play it that section. Find a horse! Try to tell Merch! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moat! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! And again, this is something that we could be doing as players and making it feel far more epic and far more involved. From just a story standpoint, watching them, I'm like, well, this is dramatic and all, but it would be far more dramatic if it was me running, being forced to stand still or being held by someone to watch that guy kill our parents and going through it all and so forth as an actual player as opposed to watching. This, this would be, if we did this the entire time, it would have been far more dramatic. Yes, I know that's a weird nitpick as well. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? I'm guessing this is us. This is Ride to Talmurg. Quote, Ride to Talmurg, because I can't find a horse. There is a horse. Oh, there's a horse. Up down here, go over here, kill a horse, and we can't get through there. He runs out of stamina really fast. Don't 
Hey, uh, I'm. Where's that button? Where are we meant to go to? Can we save her? Yeah. Yep, that was always going to happen. That was that was just always going to happen. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be something like we're not actually able to save her. Here's a question, though: Why can't I draw my sword? What is the draw sword button? Movement, combat, primary attack, block, melee weapon, surrender. There's a whole bunch of buttons here, but which one's the actual one for drawing your weapon? Skip dialogue, except to use. It doesn't seem to have one. Here, just draw a melee weapon. Aha! The towns and citizens are likely to call a guard on you. Alright, so that's how we do this. So we'll go down there. We'll draw a sword and we'll stab one of them. And uh, maybe that'll make the other ones back off? Or is this one of those supposed to lose fights where we're going to actually have to leave her and let her get attacked like this? Of the horses. I'm guessing there was supposed to be like a horse nearby? Or is it? Oh, fuck. Hello. Holy shit. That, that's insanity. That just like outright kills me. Okay, I guess I've gotta just run because it doesn't seem like I'm actually capable of fighting these guys. Or maybe I'm just that fucking terrible at it. Where did he actually come from, come to think of it? No, seriously, where did he come from? There doesn't appear to be anyone around us. He came down there as well. He was down there trying to move. Where did he appear? That's what I heard. He's just spawning somewhere he's not supposed to be? This is just never gonna work. I'm just gonna leave. There's no way I'd be able to do this. Let me have a horse, please. Let me have a horse, please. Why are there so many of you people? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, this is definitely not something we can win. That kinda sucks. Maybe I'm just that fucking terrible. Maybe I should have, uh, like, used more strength options and such like to increase my strengths. Because right now I'm just really good at speaking, terrible at everything else. I really don't want to leave her to just get attacked, though. Well, it seems we have to because they just spawn like 20 fucking people. That is kind of maybe there's a way, and maybe like when you play, you're able to save her. But I genuinely don't think I can because one, I'm terrible at the at the actual anything really. But it seems like it's we're genuinely not able to. But I just like All right, that works. <laughs> 
Leaving this vicinity, please. Because they're all gonna... Alright, I guess I found a way to do it. Get the horse to do it for me. The horse seems to have near boundless stamina, though. Is there, like, a way for me to gallop, or... Oh, I was galloping. Jesus Christ. And again, this would be far more dramatic if you let me do it, as opposed to letting the game do it. Please tell me we can do it. You have to get quick. You have to quickly get someone to help you. All right, fine. We have to quickly get somebody to help us, which we're not easily able to do in the middle of a fight. With this wanker fucking shooting at me. Either way, point it very once open the map. You'll see all the places you can fast travel to. Open the map. See all the places we can fast. We can't fast travel really anywhere. Over there. And that fucker keeps hitting me, too. This game is hard. The Millers have a reputation for being mixed up in shady deals. All right. So I'm just going to have to go to the Millers, then. And again, it puts me back here, where I can't do shit. Huh. This is genuinely irritating. Because it's very much gotten to the point where I want to be able to do things. Like, I want to be able to help Teresa, I want to be able to do all this. But the only way to do the, any of this seems to just be for me to repeatedly die because I don't have the ability to do anything. Which, to be fair, like, is, you know, what would happen if a commoner picked up a sword and tried to attack people. But it's also really freaking irritating. Right, following a pass. Oh, gallop is the fastest gate, but will deplete your horse's stamina. All right, so that's how you do it. We need to gallop her. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard of pissing the fuck off? That worked. <laughs> So there is a gallop ability. I'll just canter for now to get out of here. And then I'll gallop once we get into the next section with the uh, arrow shot to the leg. Get all. It really has some weird loading times for just things. Alright. Are we depleting my horse's stamina? We seem to be. We seem to also be riding away from them quite fast. So let's move it. Move it, horse. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just going to head towards wherever the hell that A is. And pray to the devil I can actually make it. Left. Talmurg is to the left along the stream. Thank you, voice in my head. They still chase they're still fucking chasing me. And my horse doesn't have a whole lot of stamina left. chasing me? Oh, wait, I'm a messenger. Of course they chase me. And I'm apparently starving as well. <laughs> this day just keeps getting better and better. On. On. Your stamina back up, horsey. Oh, dear. Oh, 
me to Talmberg. I'm trying. Warn the others. They tore at Scarlet. Damn it, they're hot on my tails, and I don't have infinite horse stamina here. They tore at Scarlet. Yes, horsey, I know. Why couldn't I get a horse with better stamina? Because they're like right behind me. Making this kind of impossible. Okay, so we're nearly there. That looks like... That looks like it's our destination. There we go. into you too, buddy. I wonder if that's an actual language. Give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Oh, that's got to be Brian, oh, blessed. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. The hour is up. I'm just waiting for this cutscene to end. I'm gonna pull that hair off. I'll give you my thoughts. <sighs> That's gonna hurt. Damn, that had her penetrated deep. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. You're a dick. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibish. Can you manage? Give me an actual gameplay segment so I can stop and talk. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard Robart. Oh, Tell me, it's not boy, Brian Blessed. What exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. 
It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. At least we completed it. Is there more cutscenes or are we on gameplay now? I'm just waiting. I don't like talking over cutscenes. I never have. I only ever do it for FDA. Even then I tend to remain quiet during it. Alright, excellent. Alright. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um... I'm liking what I'm seeing so far just because of... Stand up here. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far from the setting, from like the closing, from all the stuff that builds the world around you. I am genuinely liking it. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Well, that's because you haven't eaten in ages and the game's bitching about it. But I do have issues with the pacing of the story. There was this long section where just kind of nothing really happened and everything happened at once. And I get games like this are meant to do that. However, when everything happened at once, everything happening at once was all in the form of just one long cutscene that I was honestly starting to yawn in the middle of. Because I'm going, none of this is very Jesus. far outside. You bumped into me, you shit. Shut the fuck up. Like, nothing that they showed was far outside what we had done. We'd walked around. So if they had us... Sprint to home, try and sprint to the castle, decide then and there. Instead of going, do we go inside the castle or do we try and save our parents? We could try and save our parents and have that oh, go. No. We could go inside the castle and have, like, the gate guards die or something and then just slam the gate shut on us to the point where we can't get in. Like, it wouldn't have been that hard to, to force this to happen without just one long cutscene. Because that cutscene went for freaking ages. And then... Like the game gives you a sword tutorial. Very brief. And for me, it honestly wasn't good enough. It should have been a bit longer. It should have covered things like blocking. It should have covered a couple of other things. Like I get that they didn't want to go too long in it, but it's still irritating not knowing how to play the what game when the tutorial was supposed to teach you it, you know, five minutes ago. Am I liking it? Yes. Do I have a lot of issues with how the story has been presented so far? Definitely. Because for me personally, this hasn't been enough to hook me in. The story itself isn't enough to hook me in. It's generic, our parents died and we're going to claim vengeance on the guy who did it in an open world. Like, we've seen this kind of game a million oh times God. before. Eat. What's the button for it? What's the flaming button for it? There was a button for inventory. There we go. Food. Eat this freaking food, you giant fucking baby. There. Now shut the fuck up. Am I going to keep playing this game? Yes, because I want to experience an RPG, like a proper historical RPG too, set in the Holy Roman Empire times. But I haven't been hooked in. I've been hooked in more by the historical setting than I have been by the story itself. 
Would you stop fucking trying to sleep, you wanker? You're only like halfway tired. I'm utterly exhausted and I'm still capable of doing this. You can too. My general bugbear with the game so far has been... Combat hasn't been fully explained, as I said. They should have had a bit more of an in-depth tutorial. And I'm guessing that in-depth tutorial is what we're about to do, and I very much hope it is. Because if I have to play the rest of the game on just that dinky little one... Because there was no... I get that there's no way a commoner could stand up to a proper soldier. But there was no way to really save Teresa from those guys. Because you saw me then, before, when I looked back. It was just... It looked like there was at least 14, 15 people. It sucks. But... I, it's not torture. Like, I can see that some of the things were the game's fault and a lot of it was my fault. It was not torture for me, but it is merely adequate with an interesting historical hook for people who love history like I do. I'm not even sure if I'll play this again. I might do, like, when like something like Mr. Antifun comes out with a trainer or something like that to give me infinite health. That way I can beat the crap out of those guys who was trying to attack Teresa and stuff like that. But playing it as is... I'd love to get something to eat. I'm I literally just hungry. fed you an entire wheel of cheese. God damn, that should fill you up for ages. I have a sense that eating thing is going to get on my nerves as well. Oh well. I find Kingdom Come Deliverance's first hour, at least, fairly lacking. Maybe it gets better later? I don't know. That's not the point of this series. But I did have fun. Because there were a lot of interesting moments, the voice acting and the dialogue, somewhat predictable at times, was actually, is actually very good. I'm looking forward to seeing where the world goes, even if the story's a bit cliche. I hope there's some twists and turns there to make it less standard, I guess. But anyway, that's been me. I have um, finished the streams for the evening, and I will see you tomorrow for... I'm not actually sure. I'm thinking either more Jade Empire... Or I'll start a new game and have two stream LPs going at once. But you all have a very good day, and I'll see you later.